I just hope that I'm in the right spot. Yes, here we go. Uh, I'm <coughs> repurposing um, a, a blog post and a slide share that I made uh, earlier this year. I spent probably three or four days researching and writing this, so it was well worth the effort to repurpose it in many different locations. Uh, it was actually quite big. I, I did a thing on 20 LinkedIn tips for network marketers in 2013. You can see from my keywords the sort of people I was hoping would find this information. And I was really targeting people who are affiliates. Um, that's why I've got that little logo there in the picture. I'm just going to show you the first 10 tips that I uh, that I put in here. I was just going through them actually and um, there's some really good ones. <laughs> the first the important thing to do with uh, LinkedIn is to spend time on your profile. Um, we can make it highly searchable and I, I did have mine, here it is, here's mine. And um, None of this information is stuff that I've made up or that I've discovered. I've researched online and found all this from all over the place. But I, I did follow the steps that I'd found. And the first one was to make my profile more keyword rich so that when people search on LinkedIn or anywhere else for that matter, they'll find it. So I don't know if you noticed, the most important part is this part here, the description of um, me and, and what I do. Originally I just had blogger, that's all I had was blogger. I think I might have had blogger at Empower Network and that was it. So I've added the fact that I'm an internet marketer and that I'm using new ways, uh, using blogging and social media uh, to market online. So anybody searching any of those keywords should find me. Um, <clears throat> And each section allows quite a few um, characters. So just keep going until you run out of them. <laughs> OK, tip number two, get a professional URL. Go to the settings and choose your name or other relevant keyword. So you can see mine is uh, Sutamani. So that when it shows up here, linkedin.com slash in slash Sutamani. Very easy to, to post around the place, easy to remember. Please connect with me on LinkedIn if you aren't already and that will make me smile. <laughs> Tip three, join groups in your niche, whatever your niche happens to be. Um, there's more than a million groups on LinkedIn. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> and um, easy to connect with people in your own niche. And you can join up to 50 groups and then start your own group. Uh, I'll just show you... Uh, I was going to do, oh here we are. So that when you're sharing, <coughs> you can actually share directly to your groups. So I've just got one of my um, videos showing here and when I click on share to LinkedIn, this is what comes up. There's the actual video, there's the description that I have in the video itself. Now I can type whatever I like in here. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Please get back with your comments or questions, etc, etc. Make it much more personal than that. I'm just rushing with it. Now, this is where the power comes in. Post to groups. Click on there. Now, I forget how many groups I belong to, maybe 35 or something like that. But to post to each group, you think, oh my gosh, this is going to take forever, but it doesn't. Um, I just type the letter A, and there as a whole, all of my groups that start with A. So I might send this one to Affiliate Marketing, then when I type A again, uh, Affiliate Marketing Masters, uh, Affiliate Offers, etc., etc. And then I just go to the next letter, which is happens to be B. I don't have groups in every letter of the alphabet, but most of them I do. So here we are, Building Network Marketing, MLM. There we are, I can send it to that group. You can also send it to individuals. Uh, I very rarely do, but I certainly post to the groups. Some groups don't like you just posting random like this. They like to make it more personal where you actually um, make it more targeting that specific group. But you'll soon get a message back from the person who owns the group if, you, if you're doing the wrong thing. Okay. 
Um, tip number four, connect with people and then recommend them. So you can go to your warm market, people that you know from your past or present, connect with them on LinkedIn, give them a recommendation. So this person uh, is good at social networking or uh, making videos or whatever. Give them a recommendation and then you ask for one in return. I've done this over a period of a year or so or more and got quite a few recommendations there and it just looks powerful on your profile. Tip number five, this one is, I thought of this all on my own. I didn't get this tip from anybody. <laughs> but quite often when you, when you want to connect with somebody and if you don't know them from your past, LinkedIn won't let you do it. It has to be somebody that you know. It's a bit, bit similar to Facebook where they say you can only connect with people that you already know. How dumb is that? But anyway, now one way of getting around this is to add Facebook to your workplaces. So if you, if you look here, I've, I've added it down here. Uh, team building project. Here we are, Facebook. I've made that one of my workplaces. So if I want to connect with somebody and I don't know them from Bar of Soap, I just say oh, I've known them from Facebook. They're a friend from Facebook. So that gets around that little tricky one. The other way, of course, is if they're in a, a similar group to you or the same group as you, you can uh, message them within the group. No problems. Tip six, share to your wall and groups. And I just showed you how to do that so easily. Um, Everywhere's got a LinkedIn button, so it's very easy to, to share stuff that you've produced. Tip seven, use advanced search. Now, when you're searching for someone in a specific field, um, say for example, you're searching for somebody who's in network marketing and their network marketing and MLM um, that you know or are interested in, you want to target those people um, for, your, for your business you can actually type quite a lot of words into that search. And then you find those people and you go and contact them. And then when you come back again, you've got to do it again. Now, if you actually search and then save the list that you've made as you find them, then you'll get a message regularly. If somebody else um, joins LinkedIn or they change um, some of their information, you'll get a message advising you um, in response to your search that's sitting there. Tip number eight, join up to 50 groups, go for it. <laughs> and tip number nine, you can start your own group. Don't know if people in this uh, blogging challenge would might like to do that, but I'm for it if anybody else is. And my last tip for today is be positive on your profile. So try and make a really great first impression. Um, spend some time on it and uh, show that you have what people are looking for. I'll make another video with the rest of these tips, guys. So I hope this is useful for you and um, looking forward to hearing your comments. Ta-da for now.